Alright everybody, welcome back. So, this stage is based on something from Kirby's Dreamland 3. I think that's what it's called. It's on the Super Nintendo. I, I've always wanted to play it, but it's like super uh, expensive. Like, like $300. I have played it on the Super Nintendo Classic. I played like, like a couple of seconds of it. <laughs> Because I was just trying to look at everything on there, but yeah, so... The cool thing about this is, is you made multiple variants of it. So I think there's like a sunset version as well. I see like three of them in the, in the Discord, so... Yeah, you know, I, I love Kirby games. What is this right here? Um... Okay, so... Maybe that's just like, uh, it's kind of out of balance. You can't really see it, so I don't know what's going on with that. It's a nice looking stage. So this is like the water? Oh, so you're underwater. Okay. I wasn't even paying attention. So let's look down here. So. I don't know. What, what is this? This looks like one of those, like, uh, I think they're called buskin cookies. <laughs> you know what? You know, they're like yellow and they have like a smiley face. Is that like a net? Is that worldwide? Are they worldwide? I don't know. You can Google it, though! Yeah, I don't know. This looks pretty pretty dang tasty. Ugh. Despite the green icing. But, yeah. So it's probably like a, like a ding from that game. This looks like one of those, like... It's like a type of, like... Food. It's not like a candy. I don't know. It's like a... If you, if you bit into it, it's kind of like hollow. You know what those things are? I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. Awesome stage, man. I like how this is underwater. That's pretty cool. I didn't even wasn't even paying attention. I didn't realize it was even underwater. Well, like I knew this was like water right here, but like I didn't know it was like that deep down there. But yeah, man, awesome stage. You keep it up. All right, so this is uh, what is this? So, it's supposed to be like a bunch of New Year's uh, decorations. Or something. Holiday decorations. That's what I read. I don't, I don't, like... I forget what it said. It said something about, like, Kuri Pakin or Kugi Gaga. Something. But I remember it said something about uh, decorations. So it's like a tight little space that you fight in. So, uh... It's just like a Funyun, dude. Like, someone's, like, you know, sometimes you dig in the bag, and sometimes there's, like, one of them that's, like, cracked open. This is that, right here. But somebody, like, I don't know, this is, like, like a pizza. But it's, like, so moldy, it turned white. Ugh, that's not, that's not very good. So you got, like, a bump right here to kind of, because if you're, like, launching someone, it's going to keep bouncing, you know? So, yeah, but you can get out of here and, like, fight up here. I'm not sure what decoration this is, because I've never seen it in my entire life. Maybe it's, like, something related to, like, Japanese folklore. Maybe this is, like, a fan that you, like, smack people with, like, you know, when they get too close. Like, oh, you back off. You'll get away now, yeah? Hmm. Because it's, like, this This one right here looks like a fan. Maybe you smack someone. Whoop, whoop, pow! Oh, yeah, but you got, like, wind keeping you here, so... Even if you do smack someone out of bounds, it's gonna be kind of hard to, to uh, defeat them. Unless you, like, hit them upwards. Yeah, something like that. Huh, interesting uh, take on a stage, yeah. Not sure where you would put this in your house. Uh, it doesn't look like... I don't know, maybe on the outside of your door? Hmm, I don't know if I could go to sleep at night if this is on my wall. Um, cool stage. I just don't... I don't know what, you know, what decoration this is, but yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I, I like it, though. Yeah. You keep it up, man. Alright, this is, a uh, This is pretty cool. So... Uh, I'm pretty sure I read this is an original stage. But, um... This eyeball kind of looks like something from Kirby. I don't know. 
So I don't know if it's like Kirby inspired. It could not be. It could just be like its own like horror themed stage. So looks like you're like in a forest and um you know, and, oh, man, so I don't know if anybody's watched this, but, like, that, that show Kids Next Door, there was, like, this episode where there's like, a bunch of food they had to eat, like, that came to life, <laughs> and uh, that's what kind of what these shapes remind me of. It's, like, nasty food they didn't want to eat. They, they'd, like, fight it off. That's what these kind of look like. Like, this, what, what is this? Maybe it's, like, a ghost. Hmm. This is like a hand. Oh yeah, he's gonna drag you down. It would have been more creepy if you made it like uh, tan, like the or aren't they that color? Marbos three, I think, when they drag you down. Yeah. Yeah. I hope I hope nobody takes what I say too serious on here. Like I'm not here to make fun of stages. I'm just trying to, you know, bring uh my ideas to life, you know, like, I don't, I don't know what else it would look like, you know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm not, I'm not being mean, I'm not making fun of anybody, but yeah, maybe this is his, like, his eyelid, but he, like, burnt it, because he's always on fire, so he's, like, charcoal colored, like, ow, get me out of this, uh, H-hole, how, ah, yeah, so this is an interesting stage. You got like the little Tootsie Roll platform here. Well, it kind of looks like a Tootsie Roll because it has like the, in the little lines right here on top. Yeah. And then, uh... Yeah, it even moves. Ooh. You know, there's like Halloween decorations that like... You put your hand in the bowl and it like grabs your hand or it lands on it. Like, ah! You know, like punch it in the face and then you get kicked out of the store. Never mind. Yeah, awesome stage, man. Yeah, you keep it up. Alright, so this is based on uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, the anime. Everybody knows what it is. I've actually never watched it. Uh, I, I'm not opposed to it. I would like to... Can someone point me in a direction where to find the English dub, if there is one? So, you know, basically it's, it's like so many memes on the internet about this show so it's like a mansion so i don't know like who lives here but i probably wouldn't be too happy if someone was like on my rooftop you know stepping up there and hear like their footsteps like i'm trying to sleep it doesn't look like nighttime though but like yeah that wouldn't be that wouldn't be too too good what is this right here is this like a bell like gong you can like start the fight because they're, they're just like standing up here I don't know how they even got up here, though. There's no ladders, so... You know, be safe. Just be, be safe, guys, on your on your way down here. Because if you fall down here... You're, you're probably gonna die. So... Interesting, yeah. Yeah, but I think they had like a, a game on the on the Sega Dreamcast. I think it was like a fighting game. Maybe, maybe there's an, another recent one, like one that is actually recent. Not sure, but yeah, I'd like to watch this someday. I just, uh, yeah, someone point me in the right direction, or you can find it or something. Maybe Funimation. I have no idea, but yeah, man, awesome stage. Yeah, you keep it up. All right, so this stage is based on a Sega game, I would guess, called Outrun. So, you know, Sega has like a lot of uh, racing games out here. Because they, they used to have like arcade machines back in the day. I think that's what they started out doing in like the 70s or something. So, not saying this is based on something like that, but yeah. So this is like a nice car. Um, I'm not really, f like, too familiar with racing games besides Mario Kart. I know, like, um, Forza. 
Uh, Gran Turismo. I used to have this N64 game called uh, Cruisin' USA. I think they just like they revived it recently, haven't they? Something. So this is like a nice car. It would be a shame if I, you know, busted these these uh, <laughs> review mirrors right here. You know. Who owns this car? Hmm. Sega. Yeah. Um. Well, it's mine now. <laughs> so. Let's see here. So yeah, I think it'll be pretty interesting if you put like wind on it, like, whoosh, like you're like fighting and like the, the guy, like you know in that SpongeBob movie that Diesel, uh, David Hasselhoff, he's like, be careful back there, guys, because they're like they like stick him in the leg with like a, a spiky boot or whatever. It's, it's kind of like that, but like I'm like driving or he's driving and I'm like, he's kind of like oblivious because he's too too busy cranking the radio you know so i'm like david, david hasselhoff what are you doing yeah people always come with like weird license plates you know it's like i wonder if this is actually token outrun you think someone actually chose that one hmm. well i mean someone out there has to have obviously this is this is pretty cool. Um, yeah, man, awesome stage. Nice ride. <laughs> yeah, but awesome, awesome job, man. You keep it up. All right, so this is this is awesome right here. <laughs> so this is that level from Super Mario 3D World. Uh, World 4? Maybe World 3. It's like World 3 or 4, something like that. And so, you, you can take control of these skates and, like, you know, skate around in circles and stuff if you want. It's like that level where you get the, the, the Tanuki suit, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, sorry. You go, you can, like, pick up these, these snowman, uh, what would you call it, snowballs? I don't even want to say that. And you can, like, throw them. You can even roll them too, but this this right here is a unique uh, little gimmick. I've never seen something like this on here, huh? You did a great job doing that. So, yeah, I love Super Mario 3D World. Love it, hundred percent of it on the on the Wii U and Switch. But the only thing about it that's a pain is you have to beat every level with every character. So like, I, I beat the I beat the whole game. I beat like the, the final challenge with every character easily. But then it's like, okay. And I beat Bowser's Fury 100%. And it's like, okay. It's like, oh, now I gotta go beat every single level with every single character. Like, I think you have to touch the top of the flagpole with every character on every level. That's such a pain in the butt. It, it, it's just like a tiny little thing, but it's alright. I don't even care. It lets you... It lets you, um... Play every character, like every level with every character, like to challenge yourself differently. Because, like, obviously, if you play as Peach, it'll be easier on certain levels because uh, you can just hover over obstacles. But if you play as like the Blue Toad, he he can like catch the bunny rabbits because he runs the fastest or whatever, you know. But yeah, this is this is pretty cool, man. Wow, I never seen anybody do this. You 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 are. Dare I say it, a genius. Now I'm no I'm no doctor. I'm better than a doctor. So I uh, you can take my word for it. But if you play Final Fantasy VII, the remake, Aerith, she goes, uh if you give her like the the, the ice materia, she's like, I I'll put you on ice. <laughs> it's like what what she said at the Sephiroth. I put you on ice. And he's like, no, don't do that. I can't skate. Stop. No. And what did that happen in the original? And then she didn't die. You know, oops, spoiler. Everybody knows that. Come on. And I put you on ice. No. And he, he, like, don't come back to our planet ever again. Awesome stage, man. So, yeah. You keep it up. This is awesome. Right. Well done. Nicely done.
All right, so this is Mickey's house. It's from that like that um. There's like, like a Disney kids show called like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, I think. So interesting. I don't. I don't know. So. How we doing, Bardo? Oh man, yeah. So like, there's like memes about it all the time. Hmm. Yeah. So like, I guess this is his house where they do like science experiments, like on the other characters. Right now, Mickey, don't be, don't be diddling with that stuff, my Mickey. Oh do what I want. You won't stop me, Goofy. You cannot stop me. I am the Mickey Mouse. Then you go like Donald Duck. I'm, I can't even do his voice. <laughs> That's right. You better watch out. But yeah, so like, yeah, I don't know what's going on here, man. But you got the little giant glove. Maybe it's like a hot air balloon to like escape. Like they go. And then like pump it up and then boom. And then they just, they fly away. And it gets cut on a train and it pops. Yeah. But it's obviously like a kid's show, so like, you know, nobody really... I don't know, I guess people do watch it, because I see so much people make the stage, but yeah. This is a cool stage, and um, <clears throat> something I was not expecting from you, of all people. But yeah, awesome stage, man. I just, they don't, I don't know. Interesting. Wouldn't that be funny if you could see, like, Minnie Mouse, like, in the window? Please, help me! What, what you doing over there, Minnie? No, help help me, Mickey! Oh, you're not leaving here alive, that's for sure, huh? <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know, man. Yeah, awesome stage. Yeah, he keep it up. <clears throat> Alright, so, this is from... Om Omari? Omori? Omori. Um, so, I'm not sure if this is, like... Like an anime or a video game. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so so basically, this looks like a, one of those Tomi Tomi Dachis. You know, I think that's what's called a Tomagachi. Cause it's like kind of like square. I don't know. Never heard of this in my entire life, huh? So. So I think the stage is called Neighbor's House. So maybe they're like visiting. So they're, they're like chatting. They're like chatting up. Is this is it, does this guy have a is this a girl or a guy? Does he have a mustache? Huh. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Do I have to use your your pronouns? <laughs> I'm actually they them. Yeah, I don't care. You're, you're a man. Yeah, interesting. This definitely looks like a, like a Tomagachi or something. Hmm. This is an interesting thing. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So you have like the, the PlayStation controller buttons. You have a uh, diamond, double arrow, Saturn, half rectangle. You have, wait, those aren't the buttons? Huh. That was a joke. But you can Google it. So she has like a little ribbon in her hair too. Yeah. What is like a butterfly? Can you get this off me? No. And he's just like, why won't nobody talk to me? Well, if you put some pants on, maybe someone would. It kind of looks like he has eyeballs. Like if you look right here, like you know how Brock's eyes look in Pokemon? Like right here and right here. And he has like a little, little mouth line like right here. Hmm. Hello. Hello, my acquaintances. Ew, like, if you, oh my, this is kind of disturbing. If you, like, look right here, she also has that. And, like, her mouth is like, eh. Like, she looks like she's had enough, like, eh, Doc, what's going on, Doc? You know, like, Buzz Bunny, yeah. This guy right here definitely has a mustache. But they're, like, sitting on a couch, and, like, yeah, he, Mario looks pretty creeped out. Oh, what, what is this? So, yeah, man, I don't know. This is pretty cool, though. I like it. Yeah, you keep it up. Alright, so, as iconic as 
uh, Chuck E. Cheese is. So this stage is based on Chuck E. Cheese, but as iconic as this, uh, what would you call it, like an arcade pizza restaurant, as iconic as it is, I don't see much people making this stage. <laughs> Sorry I said that like three times. Yeah, I, I, you hardly ever see, I've never actually even seen anybody make this before, to be honest, I don't think. So, <clears throat> yeah, his new logo, his like new icon is so ugly. I don't like it. Like, I like when he had like the, the skateboarding aesthetic. Nice aesthetic. But they, they made him like an actual like mouse. He looks so ugly and like, like someone starved him. They like, uh, you know, like the SpongeBob episode. It. It's upside down for Wumbo. Ah, oh, and they like spin around, and, like shrink people. Yeah, it's kind of like that. They like, they they ruined him. But I think a lot of these uh, places are going out of business because like people's baby mamas or whatever were or baby daddies were showing up and fighting <laughs> at people's birthday parties. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't know. There's all these like rumors about like their pizza being reheated and cooked. I watched a video a couple months ago. Somebody disproved it, and I don't—I forget who made it. I don't remember. But like someone proved it, it was fake. They—they they don't redo it. Like they don't reheat pizza like other people and put it on a tray or whatever. Yeah, I haven't been to a Chuck E. Cheese since uh, my little sister's. Fourth birthday, I think. That was a long time ago. Yeah, I haven't been to her or Chuck E. Cheese since. I mean, why why would a, a grown man go there? They used to have like like arcade games and stuff. Like not like arcade arcade, but they have like the Mario Kart GP and stuff. But, yeah, I'm surprised they never released that on home console. It was like a digital purchase or something. It's like that Mario Kart with Pac-Man in it. It's like a spin-off thing, but, yeah. Awesome stage, man. Yeah, it's kind of a shame. I actually miss Chuck E. Cheese, but, yeah. Where a kid can be a kid. Isn't that what they say, or is that Toys R Us? Ugh, Toys R Us. I want to see a Toys R Us stage. I've covered one in the past, but that would be pretty cool, but, yeah. Awesome stage, man. Uh, you keep it up. All right, so this is from Kirby's Epic Yarn, and I see like you're doing like a lot of uh, winter stages, like winter theme stages. So that's pretty cool. So like I said, this is from Kirby's uh, Epic Yarn. I've never played it. I wanted to get it when it released on the Wii back in the day, but uh, my, my mom thought that Kirby was like girly because he's pink, <laughs> so she refused to buy it for me. But, you know, she, she knows it now, like, that it's not girly, but, yeah. I mean, you can't expect your parents to know everything about video games, because they were born in a different generation, you know? But, everything's good now, but, yeah. <laughs> so, I bought this game for the Wii, brand new, probably, like, three years ago. Three or four. And I, I still never played it. <laughs> I, I just bought it. I was like, I'll get to it. They also re-released it on the 3DS, so, if someone's looking to play it, yeah. But it's like the same people who made Yoshi's Crafted World, if, I, if I'm if i correct. Yoshi's Crafted and Wooly World. It's like the same studio. So, I, I know stuff about it, obviously. Everything's like yarn. If like Prince Puff, I think that's what the blue guy was, right? Something like that. But, yeah. it's it, You know, you use, like, abilities and... <laughs> no, no... No, uh, I don't, I can't say the S word, <laughs> but yeah, obviously use abilities, but you can use like string and yarn to like unzip things, I think. Okay, this is getting a little, a little feisty, so, so let's see here. So like, this looks like it's like melting, maybe, maybe it got a little hot outside and it's like melting. So yeah, this is interesting. Huh. 
Sorry, I, I just got uh, zoned out. Someone's dog is barking really loud. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, awesome stage, man. Interesting. Yeah, I can bark too. Boo! Boo! You like that? Now shut up! So, yeah, this is an awesome stage, man. Yeah. So you like... I'm guessing you like save space like over here. That's why you like made... I can't scroll any further, but like this tree? Made like the lines connected to it. So I guess you made that all one object, yeah. Awesome stage, man. Yeah, you keep it up. Alright, so... This is like a Candyland-esque theme stage. Uh, I think it said it's an original stage, but it, it kind of reminds me of something from, like, Sonic Colors. Like, uh... I forget what it's called. It's called, like, Sweet, Sweet Mountain or something. Maybe I think of Mario Kart. But, yeah, so... This is pretty interesting. So you got, like, uh... What is this, like, Cotton Candy Tea? And, uh... Yeah, dude, like... I don't like ice cream. I, I don't. Like, I, I like I like cake. Like, it's like the only dessert I'll eat. I don't like brownies. I don't like ice cream. But cake? Oh, yeah. Count me in. That's what I'm talking about. That's a good stuff right there. Cupcakes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like lollipops. Uh, I haven't even ate a sucker since I was, like, a kid. I don't even chew gum. I don't. I just don't like uh, putting things in my mouth. Let's just say that. Look, I mean, you could take it the wrong way. <laughs> That's not what I mean. So you got a little cherry with sprinkles. Yeah, this is a pretty cool concept. That would be pretty cool if someone made like a candy land, like the board game, like a theme stage. I think that would be pretty cool. What is this? It's like a... You know, you know those like donuts that are like filled with jelly? Ugh. That's kind of what it looks like. Those things are nasty. Like a, a glazed donut? If you if you go to Gatlinburg, they have like a, a, a Krispy Kreme donut shop. And they have like hot donuts. Like, oh my gosh. They're, they're so delicious. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff right there. So, this is like a bridge, I guess. And it's like, if you walk underneath it, you get, like, splashed. I remember when I went to, to Gatlinburg, also, I was playing, we were playing mini-golf. I got a hole-in-one, and, like, on the course, if you did that or something, like, there's, like, animatronics around the course, and uh, it splashed somebody with water. <laughs> like, it, there's like an animatronic porta potty, and it like opened up and splashes people with water. If uh, if you got like a whole one or something, <laughs> so that was, that was pretty funny. That happened a long time ago. But yeah, man, awesome stage. This is a cool, cool stage. But yeah, you keep it up. Guten Tag, mein Freundin. <laughs> or mein Freund. Guten Arbeit. So, <laughs> yeah, so this is an original stage, I think you said. So this looks awesome, dude. So this like it looks kind of like a, like a Japanese garden right next to a lake. So, I like these little outlines back here. That's pretty cool. Lots of people do it, but I think it looks really, really nice. Kind of does look like a Japanese garden. Does he have like the, the pink uh, flowers on the tree? Yeah, man. Yeah, J Japan is such like a. Seems like a peaceful place. I'd be kind of like scared to go. Because I feel like they'd kidnap me. But, you know. That's why I would never go to another country in general. I mean, I know they wouldn't, but like, you know, 
I don't know, man. I am I'm happy where I'm at right now. But yeah, so this is it's pretty cool. Definitely looks like a Japanese garden. Like I said, it's an original stage, so... Maybe this is where the Smash players come to relax when when they're all done. They can they can sit here in like an ice bath. It's like, oh, this is, this is really, really cold, but it, it's good for my skin. Uh, some people might think that's crazy, though. But yeah, so this is it's like a nice stage to fight on, yeah. So it's like kind of closed in, too, so you can't really like go too far over here, you know? So, you know, people can't, like, run away and drag out the fight. But, yeah, man. This is, this is really, really, really nice. So, yeah. Yeah, man, yeah. Awesome stage. You keep it up. Alright, so th this right here is a an original stage, but it's based on like the 3DS Mario games. So th this is this is pretty cool right here. So you can like it's like split screen, so you could you could technically and you're not stuck up there, so you can you can um fight down here if you want. Too that's pretty cool. He can jump on the Goomba, but he won't die. He, he's been jumped on so many times. Yeah, I, I love Super Mario 3D Land. Because that, that's the game where they brought back the Tanuki suit after, like, ever since Mario Bros. 3, it's been gone until up until that point. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Wow, yeah. So if you're like down there though, how would you defeat somebody? I mean, they could fall down here, but besides that, what if they weren't willing to? They, they won't go quietly. Huh. I guess you saved on space by connecting these these objects. I find it funny in Stage Builder that when you reach like the limit, you can only draw something like super tiny because like if you're like run out of room, but you can like stretch it to fill up the whole screen. <laughs> like it's just stupid. Like you can tell they purposely set that boundary just so you couldn't go all out. It's whatever, but. Oh, you're out of you're out of stage weight, but like you're able to stretch a tiny thing across the whole screen, so like it doesn't make any sense, you know. But yeah, this is like that infamous Tanuki tree at the beginning of the game. But yeah, man, awesome stage. Yeah, this is a uh, really really awesome, man. Yeah, I've seen people do like Game Boy stages before, but like this, I have not seen. So yeah, awesome stage. You keep. Alright, so this is the final stage of the showcase. There, there's so many stages. I'll probably do like an extra one next week or something. <laughs> just so I don't fall behind. So many stages. So, this right here. Absolutely knocked out of the park. So I think someone, whoever made this, I think their name is like Ch Traup or something. I never heard of them. <laughs> that was a joke. But yeah, um, yeah, I, I did not expect you to be back, huh? So this stage right here. Awesome job. So it's based on an album, a jazz rock fusion album, I think is what you said on Twitter. So it's like the cover art. So this right here, I don't know how you did this. Like you shrunk this down, but it's not like mutated, you know? It, it actually looks like it's all the way back there. I don't know, so I don't know how you did that. I bet there's like a trick. Um, Oh, huh, I wonder what this is. This is, uh... Huh, I don't know. Black Jello? Yeah, so I, I actually looked up on Spotify. I, I wanted to, like... 
uh, give it a little listen, just see what it was. And uh, I think there's a song called Rainbow, but I couldn't find like the actual album, so I don't know, like the album art, so I don't know. I think it's all right. I think it's like like study music, you know, just like instrumentals from what I heard. But yeah, man, so this is awesome. So I guess these are like peacocks. You ever go to like a zoo and they're, they're like walking around like they own the place and you just kick them? Then the, then the police come after you? Never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just don't, I don't know what this is. Maybe you could explain. This looks like uh, the end of like a match. Like someone blew the flame out and it's like black now. Hmm. But this is an awesome stage, man. This definitely took a long time. And I like how you also... These lines are behind the rainbow, but then, like, these lines aren't. So it's, it kind of gives, like, a... It's, like, in the middle of them, you know? It kind of gives, like, a 3D depth sort of feel. But this right here, nice little trick. To, like shrink it down without it like mutating you know yeah so awesome stage man like i said i was not expecting you or natoni to be back but awesome stage 10 out of 10 here here are 10 good noodle stars for you don't tell mrs puff awesome stage man that's it i will probably be back for another one monday showcase just because there's so many, and I know I'm going to fall behind because you guys are pumping these out. So I might be back Monday. Don't don't take my war for it. Might. But yeah. Awesome stages, everybody. Um, yeah, keep it up. I'll be back. Goodbye.